Welcome to Electro Online for our fourth and final example of how to solve these kinds of static equilibrium problems. We chose the latter problem. It's a little bit more challenging than the rest. And so here you can see the general technique of solving such a problem. We have a ladder leaning against a wall. We take the example where there's no friction against the wall, so this ladder at the top can slide freely. And then at the bottom there is friction, mu equals 0.2. Notice we have the mass of the ladder, which pulls down. We have the mass of the person on the ladder and big MG. Notice the distances D1, D2, and D3, assuming that our point of rotation is going to be chosen at the very bottom here. The reason why we choose that is because we have two unknown forces, F sub X and F sub Y, which we at this point don't know yet. So again, we use the sum of all the torques about this point equal to zero. We have three torques, the first one caused by the weight of the ladder, the second one caused by the weight of the person, the third one caused by the force of the wall pushing back against the ladder. It has to be perpendicular to the surface of the wall since there's no friction there. Notice we don't need to know the length of the ladder. We plug in all the values and notice we use x here which is the fraction of the distance up the ladder <clears throat> that the person can go. So, so x is essentially the fractional distance from here to here or from here to here. It depends how you want to look at it. It doesn't matter. It's the same fraction. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then when we solve the equation for x, we get this equation right here. Of course, we can't solve it since we don't know the force at the top. But if the ladder is not going to slip, F top always needs to be less than F sub X, which is the friction force right here, and eventually the ladder begins to slide when this one exceeds F sub X. So what we do here is we want to find the friction force. To do that, we need to find the sum of the force in the Y direction. And so we sum these three forces up. We then discover that the force in the Y direction at the bottom here is 686 Newtons. Then we sum up all the force in the x direction, so the force in pushing to the right, which is now the friction force, minus the force at the top, must equal zero if they're right at the hairy edge of equilibrium, where F sub x is the maximum force the friction can be, which is the force in the normal direction, the normal force here, times mu. So when we solve for that, we get the force at the top being 137.2 newtons. Then we plug everything back in, so we plug that in here, we then plug in all the other values, and we get x equals 0.285, which is the fractional distance the person can go up the ladder before the ladder begins to slide. Now you may say, well, if you can only get up about 28.5% of the total distance up the ladder, that's not a very good thing, and that's because we, tick, we pick the angle to be 60 degrees, which of course is not a good angle for a ladder. You want to bring the ladder up like this, and then you probably can go up higher up the ladder, but at least it gives you a flavor of how to do this type of problem, and that is how it's done.